So, we have the Rune Cover, the guy that created the gear of the Lich King, and on the other side, we have Primus, the leader of Maldraxxus, that is seemingly missing. Both look eerily similar. We don't know where Primus is, and the Rune Cover is incredibly mysterious with also wiped out memory. Because of this, a theory has been going around for quite some time, and a theory with a lot of evidence that maybe the Rune Cover is actually the imprisoned Primus. Could this be the case? Brought to you by Gamivo.com. Make sure to click the link in the description and get Shadowlands as well as game time at discounted prices. Primus is the leader and the founder of Maldraxxus. In turn, Maldraxxus is literally the military realm of the Shadowlands built in order to protect it from the outside foes that constantly try to invade it. Primus is thought to have been a genius, and genius is putting it lightly, a master strategist nearly unbeatable in battle. He isn't indomitable because of the fact that he is an eternal one, therefore he is powerful, but because long ago he sought the help of an unknown ally that allowed him to pretty much revert time and observe a single battle a million times and to figure out how it would play with minor differences if he changed this or that. Who this ally is is maybe a titan, who knows, but this is a topic for another video. Interesting enough, Primus was also a legendary blacksmith and probably one of the best in the entire universe, which to me is like the biggest clue to this theory. So, to get to the point, Primus realized that the Maw is starting to spill out and he could sense the presence of the Jailer spreading outside of his realm, which was definitely a case of warning for him. He apparently played a part in his imprisonment long ago and built a mechanism to keep the Banished One in check and is now worried that he might escape. So, Primus set out to investigate the matter and left the Barons to take care of the houses of Maldraxxus. Now, Primus, ever wise and seeing all possibilities, did think that he could fail and that an outsider could save the Shadowlands, therefore he left messages and clues for us in order to prevent the Jailer from reaching the Arbiter. At this point, Primus disappears and we know pretty much next to nothing about him. It is thought that he had been missing for a really long time, which implies that this Jailer getting loose has been happening since forever, but since Draka knows him, it could also imply that this only happened maybe a few decades ago, if not less. But I digress. This is about all the information that we have on him. All we know now is that he is missing and that this realm, Maldraxxus, is in a state of complete chaos and civil war. Now, onto the other character. In Torcast, the tower, essentially the heart of the Maw, we encounter a person named the Rune Carver. A very mysterious figure locked at the Forge of Domination. We know that this is the character that created Frostmourne and the Helm of Domination, that was definitely confirmed, and that he essentially built the Lich King at the behest of the Jailer. The Rune Carver seems like a completely broken figure and in chains, and he seems like his memory is entirely missing. If you've seen the Maw thus far, you know that this is exactly exactly how this realm of complete despair operates. It just completely depletes souls and just has them running around as hopeless shells used as weapons by the Jailer. Now, why do people think this guy is the Primus? Well, there are a ton of different clues. First off, the look is the most obvious one. They look eerily similar with the length of their limbs, size and overall shape. Obviously, the rune cover looks like a broken shell of the Primus. Second, is the fact that he is a blacksmith and this is to me one of the most important bits of evidence. You can see that the Scourge used Maldraxxus for their own gear and military and if you look at his work like the Blade of the Primus, it really looks like a more basic version of Frostmourne, so his skill for blacksmithing could have definitely been used by the Jailer. Additionally, we know that with the capture of the faction leaders, the Jailer is actively trying to break them and use them as weapons for himself. It is exactly what he could have done with the Primus. Primus discovered that he has been up to something. He entered the mall, and as we have seen in the cinematic, the Jailer was in chains, so he must have believed that he could just check upon his prison and check upon his chains. Surprisingly, he found out that he had broken the chains, they fought, the Jailer imprisoned him, broke him, and now used Primus' skills and powers of modern access to forge his weapons and plans. As it needed a combined power long ago of the Eternal Ones to imprison the Jailer, it is of no surprise that he could defeat a single one in direct combat if he was released. Now, the only bit of evidence that doesn't really line up is that the statue of Primus doesn't have the same amount of fingers as the model of the rune cover. This, to me, doesn't really have too much of an explanation, but it could either be a mistake on Blizzard's part or maybe the fact that statues are supposed to be stylized or maybe the rune cover was twisted by the jailer to work more efficiently. 
However, I gotta admit that there doesn't seem to be like a good counter argument there that can just easily dismiss this. Overall, to some this Primus is the rune cover speculation seems really obvious and honestly I gotta admit it definitely does make a lot of sense. If the rune cover really is Primus, I think we should start getting pretty scared by the Jailer's powers. It would seem like this guy seemingly imprisoned and managed to break an eternal one and then completely used him for his plans and I'm guessing the Primus might even be the most powerful of the eternal ones if we don't count the Jailer as he is the leader of the military of the Shadowlands. So yeah, if this this is the case, the Jailer is one powerful villain. Thank you for watching. Check out Who is the Sister of the Winter Queen by clicking on the screen and also check out Honor's Academy for videos on real world history and science. See you next time.